What's going on guys? Super Nintendo here with another Funko Pop video. And in this video, we're going to go over my favorite comic book series that finally got turned into Pops. Marvel Zombies. So let's get... What is this? <laughs> Just in case you don't know what Marvel Zombies is, Marvel Zombies is a five-issue limited series published from December 2005 to April 2006 by Marvel Comics. The series was written by Robert Kirkman with art by Sean Phillips. It was the first series in the Marvel Zombie series of related stories. The story is set in an alternate universe where the world superhero population has been infected with a virus which is turning them into zombies. The series was spun out of events of the crossover story arc of Ultimate Fantastic Four, where the zombie Richard Reed tricks his ultimate counterpart into, into opening a portal to the zombie universe. It's one of my all-time favorite comic book series. I love it. I mean, it came out right around when, you know, the big zombie craze was coming out, and of course Marvel wanted to have zombies before DC. I mean, I, I still am stoked that they finally made Marvel Zombie Pops. In one of my earlier videos, when they announced the Pops, I showed how excited I was. Here, let's see a little clip of that. I cannot wait for is the Marvel Zombie. Marvel Zombies is one of my all-time favorite comic book series. I've followed Marvel Zombies since they came out. I have a lot of action figures, statues, collectibles, you name it. When they announced these, I lost it. I'm, I have to have them all. I... Alright, let's start off with Zombie Hulk. He is awesome. I really love the green kind of zombie ooze that's coming out of all of them from where they've been bit. You can see half his hair is missing with his skull showing off to the side. Very angry. Typical kind of Hulk pop. I do love the more skeleton on the face. I am kind of confused why this one was not the 10 inch one and the thing should have been a six inch one just saying but no solid pop i love this pop it's fantastic Moving on to the next one we got walmart exclusive glow in the dark mysterio this thing is awesome the fact that the brain is the bobble part in it is fantastic the whole fishbowl orb around him is all shattered it has almost like a crack in it down there on the bottom. It's awesome. He does actually go pretty good. I couldn't really get it on camera that well, but he does glow. All right, on to Zombie Deadpool. This one, well, it's Deadpool, so it's going to be comical. I love the fact that he's holding his right arm with his left hand because it fell off. Uh, his katana, his katana is through his whole body, which is awesome. He's got that big happy smile where you're oh, just seeing Skull with his mask all tore up. It's awesome. There's not a lot of, I mean, you got the holes, but other than that, it's just like kind of a normal Deadpool pop. But again, the green ooze coming down from the arm and the bullet holes are so cool. All right, on to Wolverine. This one is awesome because you can actually see the difference between the Antimantium and certain parts of the zombie skin, which is awesome. I'm glad they made sure to do the extra detail on the Antimantium so it didn't look like just a normal skeleton. You gotta see his chest all ripped open, his like cowl is all screwed up, he's got tores in his arms, got a bit, that's where he got bit on his left arm with all the green. It's awesome, it's so cool looking. On to Zombie Magneto. This one was very kind of confusing to me because when they first announced that it, it was going to be a Target exclusive in a t-shirt bundle. And then Funko Store decided, you know what? We're going to have it on our funko Ween thing. So I lucked out and I got one. Uh, so I didn't have to pay no flipper ridiculous price for it. But it's awesome. I love the pose where it has him flying up. That's, well, typical Magneto. It's capes all tore up, his helmet's all dented in, scratch, he's missing an eye. You see his ribs, his legs all tore up. It's awesome. This pop is amazing. Probably one of my favorite ones out of the set. 
Already on to Zombie Venom. Well, we're getting more of that green ooze. It's awesome. I love this. There's so much. His tongue is almost looks like it's actually wet, which is fantastic. You got the ooze coming down his left arm, tore up his torso, all the green on his head. Mm, so cool. All over. The pose is just so intimidating, too. I love it. It's fantastic. And last but not least is the zombie thing. You guys already saw this one in the San Diego Comic Con video, but I have to include it because it's part of the set. I love this pop. It's amazing detail, and I love the skull on it. It's one of the ones I keep out of the box. It's fantastic. So that is the complete set so far, but there are four more coming. We got Zombie Black Panther, we got Zombie Gambit, Zombie She-Hulk, and Zombie Quicksilver. Uh, those ones are coming out in September, and I cannot wait for them. Also, we have one of Marvel's Collector Corps boxes from Amazon coming out too in September, late September. And it has five pieces in it, and they've already announced that there are two pops included. So, I'm thinking, because they announced a while ago a list of leaked pops, and the Marvel Zombies were on there. Daredevil. So I really think he's going to be included in this one, since, well, they've already announced it, kind of. The picture on the box shows Thor's head. And we haven't seen a Thor at all, so I'm guessing it's going to probably be included with Thor or Daredevil. But I do really hope they do make a zombie Captain America with the top part of his head cut off. Would be awesome. A Spider-Man would be fantastic. I would take Wasp. I, I would take two different Wasp. Wasp in her, well, Wasp outfit. And then later on in the comic book series, I don't want to spoil anything, but she gets a robotic body and you'll have to read the comics. I'll take both of those, please. But when we look at the Marvel Zombie Funko, the, the mini collectors, there is all the pops they have announced. And if you look down on the bottom right, there is a Daredevil. So I'm probably right on that one. And the only one out of this whole list that they haven't announced is Zombie Phoenix. So we might be seeing Zombie Phoenix and Zombie Daredevil in the box, since it looks like they have the license for those ones. But we'll have to wait and find out until next month.